Hey guys, Sunday morning here at Junk Removal Authority. I'm Lee Godbold. You can always check us out at junkarray.com. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people get into junk removal because they look at it being as an easy business to get into. They feel like all right, all I need is a truck, maybe a trailer, uh, you know, strong back, willingness to work, and uh, the business is going to come to me, and it's going to be profitable right off the bat. And maybe there's a way. There has been in the past, and maybe there is a little bit of a way now for you to jump right in and kind of make money, make profits right off the bat without some serious investments um, in, in, in equipment, in, in advertising. But that that gap is closing, guys. I mean, with guys like me putting out YouTube videos, even though I'm aimed at it completely, I'm trying to get people away from doing that and having that mindset because what's going to happen is more people are jumping into this business. There's some rumors of a TV show potentially coming in, and that's just going to bring more people into junk removal. If you're going to play at the bottom, you, there's going to be serious amounts of competition, and you're not going to be able to make those those quick profits that so many people desire when they get in this business. It's going to be the guys at the top, the guys that treat junk removal like a business. What other business? There's there's very few businesses, uh, other businesses out there. Um, Think of brick and mortar stores or or soft you know software stores. I, I don't know. Just think of uh, restaurants. You know, think of businesses out there that require such a large in, initial investment. You don't really have that with junk removal. You don't have that huge initial investment. But so many people get into this business thinking they're going to spend a few thousand dollars, get a truck, a pick you know a pickup truck and trailer, um, and the business is just going to come to them and it's going to be instantaneously profitable. And that's not the case. And what people have found out is people realize some of the people that started in some of the better months, your your July, your your Junes, your August, you know, people that started then and they carried on out throughout, you know, what's the busier part of the season, which is May through you know, April's not March and April can be okay, can be can be decent, but but the busy season junk removal is pretty much May through October. Um, December can be very good, and, and even November and December can be decent, but January and February are the two worst months out of the year. So you've got people that get into January and February thinking this stuff is just going to come really easy, and you know they're still spending money, and, and you know they may have been making a little money the first several first month, uh, you know the first months they've been in business, they get to January and February, and everything falls off, and they get worried that they're that it's going to stay that way, and it's not. I shouldn't be telling you this. Uh, I shouldn't be putting videos out here uh, about this because I know I got people in North Carolina listening to this. And for years, we've always been able to withstand. We were tough. We were tough and determined, uh, confident in, in, in what was going to happen in the future, confident in our ability, confident in our outcome, confident in our, in our willingness and capability of encountering obstacles, encountering downturns in business, in business encountering hardships, and working through it. We're just so damn determined we're going to make it through it. So what's happened is we've lost a lot of competition in the January and February months. And then we're struggling. We struggle through those months too. Not as much now as we used to. We've got enough commercial contracts that use us year round, but we're still. Um, we worked ten trucks. We lost one. One truck got totaled. We're getting ready to place another order for two, but uh, so we have nine trucks right now. Of those nine trucks, we've been running about five to six through uh, January, and that's a pretty daggone good January. If you can't make it through January and February, if you can't stay motivated, if you can't stay working through January and February, uh, you're not going to make it the rest of the year. This is the time of year where you need to really buckle down. You need to work as hard as ever on building up business, on looking at the processes you have in place. Is there's a way you can improve it come busy season. You need to be out there doing cold calls. you got to keep advertising. The people that want to cut advertising this time of year, you're never going to make it in this business. You will never make it in junk removal if you the first time – you get a little slow, you talk about cutting advertising. Think about it, guys. If you're not advertising, where the hell are you going to get business from? So you're just going to exact you're just going to exaggerate the problem when you stop in January and February. Let me back back up to what I was originally saying. Those of you that want to get in business, and this is not get rich quick. This is not this this is not a low initial investment business. Yes, the very first investment before you get started is low. If you want to build a serious business, that's who I'm talking to. That's who I'm reaching. I'm reaching the people that want to go out there, that maybe they want to build up a multi-location business, but at least they want to have one location that makes, that grosses a million dollars a year, two million dollars a year, and pro, you know, has got great profit margins. So I mean, that they can hire a general manager, 
They can have people answering phones. They can have people keeping books. They, they've got all the day-to-day stuff getting managed, and they, they're, draw, they're, they're still profitable. They're still making money. You know, even if they don't work on it at all, they're still bringing in, bringing in business. Now, it's, even in this business, is tough to delegate everything off. You still need to keep a little bit of, your, a little bit of control of what's going on. Um, but it is still something that can definitely run without you. You can leave town for two months once you have an established business. You were three years, five years into it. Leave town for two months if you, if you go about it the JRA way and you can come back and that business has just been clicking on all cylinders. You've gone on vacation, you've made money. You went on vacation and, and your business has been turning profits. And then let's say you get to the time you want to sell. You got something that is actually sellable because it's profitable without you. So many people, when they, they tell say how profitable their business is, they say, yeah, I, you know, I brought in $500,000 this year and it profited a hundred K and that's not profit. You know, uh, if you were working that job full time, your business profited 30 K, you know, cause, cause if you're working this uh, junk meal business full time, you're managing it, you may, you know, you're doing everything you need to do. You deserve to get paid 70 K for your efforts. 30 K is the profit and, and that ain't much of a profit. So, You've got to look at this long term. You have to realize though the initial before you get started investment is a bit is low is lower than a lot of businesses. You're gonna to have to be willing to take losses for a few months. If you can't take losses for a few months, and, and make sure your spouse is on board on this, both of you have to realize you're not getting into this to make money quick. If you try and make money quick, you're never gonna make money and you're certainly never gonna make big money later on. You're certainly never gonna have a business that is profitable without you and can run without you. You're gonna have a job. And a lot of times a pretty damn shitty job that you're going to be doing and you're not going to have freedom in your life that's, that I'm preaching to. So I'm trying to get you to. These two months are tough. We're most of the way through January. You got to get through February. You got to finish getting through January. You got to get through February, maybe the first two weeks of March, and then things start picking up. And once you get to May, all your worries are going, you're going to forget about January and February. That's also a mistake. You get to May through October when that when the going, when, when it's really, really good in junk removal, um, you you got to be setting yourself up to also get through January and February. Get your line of credit set up. Maybe get you a little extra cash um, built up uh, there. That way you're ready to withstand January and February. That way you're not having to cut back on advertising in January and February. Guys, when we get slow in January and February, when we were starting, we just we doubled down on advertising. We spent more and more and more because because we realized the more we spent, the more we could get in. I'd rather be doing jobs. Uh, and, and building up a long-term business than wasting two months out of the year cutting back on everything just trying to get to spring. There's a lot of money to be made in January and February, and there's a, a lot of business to be made. What I mean by that, your business can really be made in January and February if you double down. Every customer you touch but is going to be a repeat customer if you do a good job. It's going to be a referral customer if you do a good job. And it's going to leave a review online, which is going to allow others to choose you because of your great online reputation. Lee, this has been Lee with Junk Removal Authority. Y'all really double down through January and February. You got to be tough. You got to be tough. And just remember, for every you know every tough person out there, there's going to be somebody else that drops out. Y'all are going to be sitting, sitting pretty come springtime. 919-617-1975. Y'all enjoy the rest of your Sunday. We'll be back before you know it.